Project. Yes, yes. So yeah. this is about uh, about the recent incident that happened in Texas, Uvalde uh, town, like a uh, 19 year old boy, he just, <clears throat> he, he took a gun, he killed his grandmother, then he went to elementary school, killed the like 19 kids, three adults, whoever was in the class. So, uh, I mean, Prabhu, what, is, what are your thoughts? So that I have, like, I read some articles where like government is trying to figure out what they can do about this ban gun, do not ban guns, or it's, it's more of a mental health issue that is uh, uh, among the, uh, these kids. So, um, I mean, how we can see this and like how we can think about this as a, as a devotee as well, and as well, like, or as a normal person. In both the ways, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah. yeah, the Texas incident where so, and one of 19 kids were killed by a by a person who was who just went mad and had a gun with him. This is tragic, and uh, you know, heart goes out to those who have been afflicted by it. And now, one of the challenges is that we humans, when something terrible happens, we, we look for a villain to blame the situation on. So now are guns the problem? Are, is mental health the problem? Life is complex. That it's not easy to find out uh, if, to pin a complex event on a particular issue alone. Yes, we can say, okay, if guns were not so easily available, then this person wouldn't have done so much. Well, yes, that is true at one level. But at the same time, you could say that if somebody goes mad, you know, there were some terrorists who just took a truck, drove a truck into a crowded marketplace and they killed people. Now we say, this is not a terrorist, this is a mentally disturbed person. Yes, that is true. So the point is that just blaming guns, is that the solution? No. Is blaming mental health the solution? Well, it's not a solution. People are mentally disturbed and they need help. So, so what has happened in today's world is that uh, in general, we humans have got far more power than what we can handle safely. Now, that is almost everywhere that technology has given us access to a lot of power. Now, it's not just one form of technology. You know, people nowadays would say, uh, just to take a different example, is we consider social media like Twitter. Now, one person can tweet something which may be a malicious lie about somebody else, but that can destroy the other person's reputation. The other person may defend and refute and everything. But maybe the whole the whole world may hear the lie and very few people will hear the refutation. So, so that is the predicament of the world we live in, that we have got access to far more power. So we have access to a lot of outer power. And in many ways, we can say we have lost access to inner power. The power to manage our own emotions, the power to manage our own mind, that we have lost substantially. So... Now, when we say mental health problems, it could be a pathological thing where some medication is required. But again, mental health problems are not uh, simply biological problems that a medicine alone will solve the problem. Medicine may help to deal with the problem at that particular point, but there are overall sociological, spiritual issues. Ultimately, mental health comes when people have something meaningful to live for. Otherwise, there are different degrees at which mental health uh, problems start worsening. So there is no one quick solution for this. In general, the Bhagavad Gita talks about, uh, uh, when it talks about dealing with the problems of the world, it talks about dharma at the social level and it talks about bhakti at the individual level. Or you can say yoga, which culminates in bhakti at the individual level. That definitely dharma means, the word dharma, and Krishna says, dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. What does he mean by that? There, I have come to establish dharma means I am establishing order in the world. I have come to establish order in the world. So the idea is that there has to be order established in the world more effectively. Now, whether that establishing of order means that uh, guns should be banned 
or there should be greater checks on who can acquire a gun or there should be greater security so that somebody with gun cannot come into places where they can endanger the lives of others that is something which is context specific you know that they have to carefully consider the situation and uh, but the principle is dharma need, order law and order needs to be established more effectively but that is only one part of the solution ultimately every human heart longs for meaning purpose and ultimately love so the gita's 4.8 is about establishing dharma in the world 4.9 and 10 are about establishing prema bhakti in the heart so now we said bhakti is not just a particular uh, traditions way of connecting with god in a particular conception but it is it is helping the human heart find some higher meaning some higher fulfillment some higher love so that is something which has to be done that is not the that is not something which the government alone can do that is the individual's responsibility that is society's responsibility and that is what uh, we can contribute some steps towards you know wherever we are trying to raise our consciousness wherever we are trying to offer others resources for raising their consciousness to that extent that disconnection of the human heart with the divine at least to some extent that will decrease and in that way problems like this tragedies they can be minimized now henry david thoreau said that for every one hacking at the shoot of a tree hmm a thousand such hackings better than a thousand hackings at the shoot of a tree is one hacking at the root of a tree so the root of the tree is that to the extent the we don't have a meaningful life the mind will make us do more and more meaningless things and some meaningless things will be will not be will be relatively harmless okay somebody just uh, spends a lot of time just mindlessly surfing uh, the net some people just drink and maybe drive and ha- uh, harm someone some people actually take a gun and out go outright and shoot someone so there are degrees of uh, of meaningless things which can be worse and worse but ultimately we need to have meaning in life so that hacking at the so we can look at oh this person did something terrible and that person did something terrible and we try to fix that it's important at a practical level to do that but that's like hacking at the shoot of the tree sometimes that's also required uh, circumstantially but hacking at the root of the tree means we need to sh- help individuals more and more individuals find meaning and purpose in their lives and that is what the bhagavad gita's wisdom can offer everyone and when that is done when the root is root of the tree of evil is hacked then such meaningless violence will definitely decrease